Hello, hello to all amazing people and uh, let's terraform it some more and mine it out in another episode of Terraformers, an amazing tactical strategy game about terraforming Mars. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video. I'm playing the Red Pass scenario at hardest difficulty, pretty late already in the game, uh, turn 41, Ash is about, Ash, Ash, <laughs> Ash is about to retire and uh, we have Deja Robinson offered and Arthur Foster. I went a little bit in detail about these two at the end of last episode. But basically Deja is like, if you're worried about losing she's gonna uh, from support, she's going to give you lots of support. It's kind of like, uh, let's, uh, let's lose less kind of attitude. But uh, I'm still far away from winning and we need to win some more. So I'll probably grab Arthur Foster here. Eh? We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully we don't lose because of it. So, yeah. Welcome Arthur to the team. So he has a soul cleanup tour, explore location for double the power cost and produce 15 atmosphere. That would uh, help terraform things. If you need to explore with him, we could. But more importantly, his ability to mine resources is really, really strong. Select a resource deposit, mine 10 of that resource with a bonus of plus 1 for large deposits and plus 2 for gigantic deposits. And then he also has earthworks. He can remove five rocks for free this turn. This is also pretty good. This one could easily be 15 energy if I need to remove a whole bunch of rocks. So I might use this one a couple of times. So uh, my priorities here are, well, to get the bacteria spreader up as soon as possible. Mm, actually, funnily enough, like I'm one uh, science short. I don't really need to do it this turn, but I don't know. Right, so what what should we do? What should we do, Doc? Like, I want to get more mines up, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I do have enough energy for it. I do have enough titanium for it. Do we grab a silicate mine? Or do we go for some nitrates? Well, the only mine that I can do right now, it would be the, 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 the silicates. Uh, because I don't have, I have any population, so we have to wait for some food, which will come in soon, so that's fine. Yeah, I could, oh, actually, no, if I can't do, grab this, because then we would lose the, the plant spreader, so basically can't do it. I can make a CO2 factory, though, that's probably fine. Where do we place it here at the North Pole? Sure, why not? We have a couple more uh, slots there. So this will make like terraforming a little bit faster. And as for resources, I wonder, is this considered a mine? No, it's not. Let me see something. So this one produces one titanium. Like titanium is a good uh, target for this mine resources action. Uh, we're gonna need plenty more to get some more mines going, which is a priority right now. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty juicy. Where are all my titanium mines? Okay, there's one here. Okay, this one actually produces two. That's pretty good. It gave me some extra ones. Alternatively, that's one, that's one, that's one. Like alternatively, I could grab some nitrates to get what? Exactly nothing, okay. Yeah, let's just do some titanium, I think, for now. I mean, that's just so much titanium. Okay, and right now I'm exporting tritium into science. So I can get the bacteria spreader going and these research centers. So that's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, satellites would be cool also. Yeah, I think I might deprioritize things a little bit here. So with plus five science, I'll be able to put bacteria spreader down next turn. Um, only problem is I really have nowhere to put it. So, yeah, I wonder, five, no. So what do we grab here? Okay, let's turn two of these into two science, I guess. Yeah, 
If I do it like this, it'll be five and three. So I need 16 total. I have two, six, eight. I would need eight more. I would not be able to complete it next turn. Maybe just import some energy instead. Uh, what is this? There you go. All right. There is something to be said about doing some orbital farming, though. Mm, decisions, decisions. So many things to do, so little time to do it all. <laughs> I mean, that's 20% more food, and it's not even that super expensive. It all depends. What they get here in terms of structures. Or maybe we just build a research center. So we actually get more options and get what I need. Yeah, that's also an interesting idea. Should we do that? You know what? I'm leaning towards the research center right now. Yeah, let's do that to get more options. There. That delays the bacteria spreader, but does it really? Okay, let's delay the orbital farming a little bit so we get the science faster for the bacteria spreader and hopefully I get the building now. I'm importing more than I'm exporting. There we go. Good. Okay, well, let's settle with that. Uh, anything else I can build? I can build an animal spreader, but yeah, I really need some robotic farms or something. A billionaire's idea. Well, first time I see this one. Whoa, what's this? A tech mogul provided us with a blueprint for an innovative nuclear-powered oxygen factory. While it's incredibly effective at producing oxygen, a design flow in the reactor causes radiation to leak into the environment. This will increase the radiation level in the region. Ooh, interesting. 20 tritium provides plus 2 atmosphere per turn and plus 2 oxygen per turn. Adjacent population provides minus three support per turn and increases radiation to the city by one. Well, here's the thing. It sounds really bad. Ooh. It sounds really bad, but it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, so if you go like to a city, you'll see here radiation, radiation protection three, radiation protection improves the comfort of living. The total radiation protection cannot be more than the base radiation level of five. And uh, yeah. So basically, we would lose one support per population in the city where we place this thing down. And I'm not sure if it's worth 50 support. I mean, this would help get like terraforming up faster, though. Thing is, it's not really that cheap. 20 tritium. But I have loads of that, which I'm not using it. So it's kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'll grab it. <laughs> okay. Nuclear oxygen factory. And that will probably speed up a billionaire's idea. Yeah, that increased the chances of getting the, the support increase by 4%. That was a good event considered by the game. Well, yeah. 
Okay, where do we put it down? Somewhere where we're not gonna have like more than one population. Like we could... Oh wait, we have a titanium deposit here. Uh, I should grab that. Hmm. Okay, so there's the robot hub. We need that. There's the development center. I definitely want that. There's a rover exploration center. I definitely want that. So things are looking pretty good right now. Those three things are really, really nice. Uh, <laughs> so I want to put a rover exploration center somewhere like far away from my other rover exploration centers. Geothermal spot. We could build a geothermal power plant here. Are we grabbing this city? Maybe not. If you don't grab this city, I can like get the robot thing here. Grab these two. Oh no, but I want that. Okay, wait. We could maybe build it here. Hmm. I need to move this plant spreader also. Planum Boreum, look at how beautiful it is. Hmm. You'll be able to build this next turn also, so that's fine. If I build a robot hub, where do I build it? That's the big question right now. Yeah, I think it's best to place it somewhere where we're gonna be far away from the current robo hubs just for some nice exploring so this one seems like a good place this could be the good place actually here I wonder, let's say if I move this thing here, and if I change my mind... Oh no, I have to wait to relocate so I can move it again. I have this little bit of a problem here. Mm. I could explore this thing here. Then... Grab it with a robot hub. Move the plant spreader here. Grab this style with a dock here. Well, more importantly, like explore these two and put a rover there. Can I put a rover on, to, on top of the ocean? No, I cannot. Okay, so that wouldn't work. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm a little bit stuck. Yeah, this bacteria, the plant spreader here, like in a really stupid location, blocking my efforts here. So it's like I need to explore two locations this turn. If I want to place a rover here. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. Uh, 
Actually, wait, let's do the exploration first. Let's see what's here. Let's do it with a satellite. It's kind of far away. Okay. Okay, this seems fine. Let's put it like here. I don't know. There's really no adjacencies for robots, right? So. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, this would be a nice mine, but you can do that later, maybe. I really need this thing to start exploring. Um, yeah, I'm thinking like Yeah, it's fine. Okay, flat planes. And then we team. Do we do this or this? Ah, we probably do that, right? Some more titanium. For more mining. So next turn. Okay, I get another satellite. I can maybe grab... Oh, but that doesn't work. Oh no, I think I messed up again. I can't grab this now with the dock from there. Ah, no. Oh, Niamh, what did you do? Okay. So where will we move this thing so we can get dock here and here? Maybe we don't. Maybe we just leave that idea altogether. Grab that instead. Yeah, I could do that. But I kind of really want the bacteria spreader. Ah, we'll probably... What is this? Hmm... Yeah, we have so many nice science buildings. Uh, so we need like, what? Six, ten more. So we're doing four. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I wanted to build a nuclear oxygen factory. Okay, let's do it. Like here. Thomas's expedition. Oh, it's your grandfather, Arthur. <laughs> Is this the first playthrough where I played with both... Thomas and Arthur. It might be actually. Adjacent science producing buildings produce one science per turn. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, this city has only one population. It's probably gonna stay on one population. And even if it doesn't, it's okay. So if you put this down. Uh, actually didn't lose anything. Increased radiation of the city by one. I guess the radiation is already maxed out or something. I don't know. Comfort of living in city one. Why didn't it affect it? Because I have one radiation protection? Really? That's how it works? Okay, uh, there's something weird about that. Because the comfort did go down, so... Yeah, and the production of headquarters here also went down. But why didn't it change here? Thomas Expedition plus two. And Thomas Expedition plus one. <laughs> oh, I know. I know what happened. This is my fifth building, so we got a support for it. Okay. Every five buildings, we get a support. Okay, that was so weird. <laughs> but okay, it checks out. It checks out. All right. What's this? 
Yeah, that doesn't work yet. Okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna grab. Let's see what else do we have available. No, I think that's fine for now. Bam. More titanium, more power for us. It would be really nice to build this also. This ba building basically produces 10 support per turn with one extra project, which you can sell for 10 support. So that's really nice. Yeah, I'm going to go hard on science here, I guess. Okay. Bioengineering progress. <laughs> Elephants. <laughs> Scientists are making progress in adapting life to Martian conditions through bioengineering. They have been experimenting with different genetic variations and I'll present you with their two most promising candidates. Which of these life forms should they create? Elephants. Three support three oxygen. These large mammals require a warm temperature and plenty of food to sustain themselves. Okay. Forty five prestige or lions. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. These majestic cats are the kings of the uh, of the African savanna. The red dunes of Mars feel like home to them, but they prefer warmer temperatures. Uh, right, let's go with friendly neighborhood mammals, but uh, it's very unlikely we build those. <laughs> Another satellites, okay. Tritium thermo generator. Oh, more oceans. Not sure about that. Probably more useful than food. I don't know. Um, soil factory. Mm. No. I don't think, do we need more oceans or are we fine with plus one? I mean, plus one is enough to put a whole bunch of plants down. And I really don't want to, like, dike it up. So I'm fine with one oceans, I think. It's a bit sad, but it is a red path playthrough. So you have to understand. There's a small chance of pe people's expectations rising. Yeah. So these moments of, like, less hardships are, uh, well... Not gonna stay here for a much longer, so we need to keep that in mind. Soon we're gonna need even more of everything. Gonna go to minus 127. And what's my plan for that? I have no idea. Selling projects, I guess. <laughs> so terraforming, nine turns, seven turns, nine turns. So seven turns. In seven turns, I lose like. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Where do you go? Okay, I can grab this. I can also grab it with a satellite. What do we want here? We could build a city here now. Grab some more nitrates. Maybe we grab these views. These are not strong enough. But like... I have the sandstones, which provides five each. And I can't afford these now if I feel like I need it. And we got some more here. So in if in emergency we could use these. Yeah, the terraforming will not save me. Like I need something else. We're gonna be exploring though, so uh I could grab the smiley face, I guess. So nitrate silicates or that. I have lots of water, I just realized. 
It's gonna come in handy for animals. Once I can make them. Yeah, once I can put down the animals, I'll probably be fine. But until then, it's gonna be a bit rough. I can also put this down to get some more things going. But just building a city might be smarter. Also, I probably want that. That's kind of far away, so maybe we just use a satellite for it. Here is the thing, though. I don't have the black sand dunes. We would need to grab that also. Mm, have so much water. Yeah, there are like so many options, like slow down things a little bit. A photovoltaic field would also be good. To put down another one of these. I mean, that is 10 extra support per turn. At least. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. I might want to free up the city here. Do I really want the sand dunes? I'm, am I so desperate? I probably not. Probably not. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah, that's not a lot of heat in atmosphere. So we could drop nukes. Only three tritium. Permanently raises radiation in the climate zone by one. Raises global radiation by one for three turns. The location will become empty. Nuclear detonations can reshape the surface of Mars. Okay, we can see the effect. Like, we're gonna lose some support for three turns. I am become live, the maker of worlds. So, basically, that's minus seven for, like, quite a few turns. And I don't really like that. So, so what we need is some polar dust or wait for the heat to go up naturally and melt the glaciers itself. And the dust is here. So I would need to grab this if I want it. I could. Why are the robots next to the restaurant? <laughs> yeah, I know why, but still. Um, so I would have to put combined living center here to grab the dust. And that would empty a slot for future use, which is good. Um, but then we would have one more slot. We could grab water, I guess. Okay, I'm actually gonna use this ability this time. So I'm gonna remove that. Gonna remove... Okay, how many more? Okay, we're full here. 3 out of 3, 9 out of 10. Okay, this one, definitely. Oh, here we have 15 more buildings. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong stat. Okay, here we are decked out on buildings. Okay, here we can have one more building, so that's fine. Here we can have four more buildings, but now it's empty, so that's good. That was the first one. Here we're fine. Here, yeah, we are decked out, five out of five. We're not going to put more population here, because here we have the rural community thing. So this one will not be built anymore. Then we got 9 out of 14. So we can build 5 more buildings here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, there's not enough room. So definitely, like, remove one of these things. Okay. 
here 11 more yeah so here I definitely want to remove something touchdown zero is fine Thomas expedition it's fine so I remove two more here then yeah what's this oh I see remove that I guess remove that there we go okay so I can build a combined living center I can build it here and then I can put a bonus building here if you're gonna get one that sounds good to me there I could have moved this I guess but this would produce eight negative supports total um it might be worth it because then this is plus six instead of plus three so basically just w one negative support for two turns and after that becomes neutral okay i think that's fine then okay So now I can grab the the black sand. Convert the silicates. Black sand dunes. Now we're gonna harvest the sand. And now we can use the sand here instead of nukes. Which is free. There. Spreading black sand. Black sand absorbs a lot of solar radiation. Spreading it on the plant's frozen CO2 deposits will slowly melt them down and release it as a gas into the atmosphere using nothing but the sun's warming rays. Bam! We get a whole bunch of heat and and um, atmosphere without radiating the planet, <laughs> which is a good thing. Okay. And then... Yeah, I was like... Oh, I can grab this and put here a photovoltaic field instead of a mine. Since I have so much wo uh, extra water, right? And now we have a slot for something here also. Like for a bacteria spreader, probably. Although we already have a bacteria here, so I'm not super sure about that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, what do we grab with this? Just the closest thing, maybe? Maybe some science or a smiley. Wait, is this underwater? This is underwater, actually. Look at that. Um, so they want to free up the city. I'm not sure. Might be wise to grab this, but this is not even that close to this one or this one, right? What else do we have? Two, three, five, five. Thing is, by the time I do a five, I can do a two and a three for some extra resources. Yeah. Let's do a three. Underground frozen oxygen. Well, that paid off. You discovered a subterranean oxygen reservoir naturally formed from CO2 exposed to radiation. It's trapped under a layer of compacted sand. Releasing into the atmosphere will help the terraforming process. Is that considered good luck? Yep, it, it is. So, <laughs> maybe not so great. Okay, well, seven more turns. Six more turns for this. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking about another science building. Yeah, that's good. We need to prioritize that now. But I can build a tritium turbo generator also now. With all that extra tritium. And I'll do it. Okay, let's find a good place for it. Uh, we can build lots of buildings in here. I can put it there. Okay. My building placement game is a bit weak, but... 
Okay, that lets me grab two more projects here. Grab both of these, although we're probably not gonna build both, but that's fine. Okay, out of resources, we use his ability. Okay. There. Now start exporting water a little bit. Okay. This will delay the bacteria spreader by a little bit, but I think I want the satellites. So I need what? Four, six more. Okay, I can reduce it by one. There. So we're exporting eight, two, five, seven, eight. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's going there. Okay. Okay. Thing is, I could build a mine here. And get some free silicate exports also. But I need to explore it first, which I didn't do yet, so cannot do it yet. Okay, please don't give me the exportations yet. <laughs> I'm so afraid. What's this? Local culture center. Produces three support per turn per distance away from the nearest city. From the nearest other city. This project cannot be built in one city. Every city eventually cultivates a culture of its own. The further away it is from other cities, the less it will be influenced from the outside, leading to a unique local color in every aspect of daily life. Okay. Robot Hub. All right. Gas Factory. Development Center. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, 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 right. Okay, so I kind of want to build a city. Oh, look at that. Utopia has some water also. I want to build a city really, really far away from all the other cities. So I can build this thing. So if I can make a city be a distance of like seven... That would be 21 support. That would be very worthwhile. So this 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 place here is like 8 away from the nearest city. So this is like 2, this is 3, this is 5. This is 2 2 5 5, you know, like we can see here. Six, six, this is eight. And I, I can push this further. I can go more in here. Yeah. At some point I need to stop, right? Because I'm not going to have enough satellites. So I need to like, I need to find a city location somewhere here. I need to explore around it. And then we build a city there and that's going to be wonderful. Okay. Let's see, this exploration rover, where do we want to go? And yeah, nothing's really close by anymore. It might be worthwhile to start thinking about moving it. Okay. So it's like one to start moving it and then one per location. Okay. This would be a good place, I guess. It would be seven to move it there. But then after that, it would be like exploring super fast. It's just so far from everything. Like six, six, seven, six. It's 
So how much would I need to save up? I need to save up, so let's say I, I move it here, right? I need to save up seven. So... So let's say instead of a five and a six and a six, I explore like a, a three and a two and a two. No, no, no. Instead of that, I explore three, three and a two, right? Three, three and a two. And that would already be worthwhile. And how long would that take? Three, three, two and seven. Well, same as this, right? Uh, 15. So in 15 turns, it would pay off and then it would like start giving me more. Ah, it's like almost as if it's not worth it because whatever I do now, I get right away, so. And also I need a slot for it. Yeah, it's not worth it. I can grab some science here. Which I kind of need right now. Not sure how much I would get for it though. I get some science and water here. What, what about the other cars? Okay, this one can go to the right, I think. Uh, it's also like pretty far away. This one might be actually worthwhile to move. One, two, three. I just don't know where. I would need a new city. And then we got this one. Okay, this one's no brainer. This one can do anything. We grab some science then, yeah? Three. Okay, better than nothing. Oh! Look at that. Some more heat and atmosphere. I would really like that. I don't have to do it right now, so there's no rush. Um. I might want to explore with him here. It's not that far away and we would get like for each of his exploration we get 15 atmosphere, which is pretty good. It shaves off a turn from the um from the oxygen rays. Yeah, I would really like to get some more oomph out of these explorers, but I don't think I have to. Okay, let's grab this science here. There. And then this one here. I can grab this science. Okay, I'm still one off from building that, but then I can go with him here and I would be able to do it. And the reason why I want to rush another one of these is just get so much extra support. Each one of these buildings is 10 support, so... And we need it. We really, really need it. Uh, so yeah, let's find a nice city to build that in. We can build it here. We can also build it here. Oh, let's build that before I forget again. <laughs> there. 
New technologies suggested twice as fast. A facility dedicated to researching new technologies. We might want to build that, actually. Wait, what's happening? My bacteria spreader came online? Okay. What do I want? Do I have a bacteria in this region? I don't have a bacteria in this region. Okay, so I can spread Cyanophyta here. It would come off cooldown pretty fast because it's in the same region. I think that's fine. We increase a little bit more of atmosphere and that and the uh, oxygen, so that's good. So I'm still pumping science. Yeah, because I want another bacteria spreader as soon as possible. Well, I can actually grab this thing. Ah, right, I can't. Okay, then this is super annoying. Oh, what did I do? <clears throat> no dock here then. Mm. Oh, I messed up again. I wanted that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Where can we build a mine then? Okay, here. I don't have enough for photovoltaic fields. So I guess we build a water mine. Alternatively, thing is, I don't need that much water right now. But this costs water. This costs water. A city will cost water, and I might get another building that costs water. So it's probably fine. Unless I can find some other mine, it should be okay. Yeah, okay, let's just grab that water mine then. Extract water for oceans now. Alright. So now I have plus six water generation. Yeah, I'll definitely trade away water. Okay. So these three that are going into the satellite, I can move it to water if I want. But I already have another satellite ready to go. And satellites are kind of broken. How good they are. Like, I'm even considering here to do this. Okay, this one will be done. Okay. Yeah, to get the next one as soon as possible. I think that's good. I mean, that's also my victory condition, right? So right now I need four more tritium, two more titanium, seven more silicates, six more nitrates, three more water, and I win. That's not a lot. That's like three, six, nine, seven, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-two. So I'm over half, and I'm snowballing here, so. Oh, we can also build a gas factory. Do we want a gas factory? <sighs> it increases my atmosphere generation by one, one sixth. No. I do have a lot of power generation right now, but this costs a lot of power and this costs a lot of power. Maybe we wait a little bit. Waiting is not good though. I'm not ready for that yet. I also need this, but I messed it up. 
I so messed it up. Yeah, I locked myself out of this area. I should have moved bacteria plant spreader there. Grab the dock, grab these, stack them up. Ah, it would be weird. Then we have to move it back. Ah. Also want that. Okay. Uh right. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. We lose two atmosphere if I don't build it now, it's not too bad. <coughs> Ugh. Insect farm. A bit scary, to be honest. Okay, we can enable the satellites. Okay. Grab that. Okay. I mean, three food is a lot. And I don't really have anything else to use nitrates on, so... But if I'm gonna get like a plant spreader, something that needs nitrates, I'm gonna be kicking myself, so. All right. So the plan here was to find a city location, right? With my satellites. It might be here. And it is. Sixteen, fourteen, sixteen. This would be eight tiles away. So this would give me twenty-four support in this city. As long as I don't build any cities near to here, which I would be very careful would need to be very careful about. You know. So that's that. Oh, I have another satellite. Another one's coming online next turn. So. Okay. This is a little bit pricey. So I probably don't want to do it. Hmm. Let me see. What can we do with you, mister? My space hotels are kind of nice also. Okay, we are getting very likely to get this thing. And like the, the support started to dwindle a little bit. Three more turns for oxygen though. That's going to be plus 200. So in three turns, okay, let's say the next one is minus 70, minus 422. So in three turns that's 360. This will half the, the hit. And then we get this soon, we get that soon. So yeah, we're gonna get a lot of support relatively soon. Okay. Where's my car thing? Okay, it's here. I can grab this thing here. Some support might be wise. Also more science. Do I want to build this thing? I might wanna build it. Like some of this science application thing is are really useful. Well, the tritium mine there. Well, I'll just grab some support, I think. There. Okay, and let's grab this, I guess, first, and then this. Mm -hmm. So this is becoming interesting. I might want to build city here or here, but the longer I wait, the less worthwhile it is because, yeah, I need to start doing a thing, right? So. The faster I build it, the better it is. I'm gonna have the food next turn, so it's probably best to build it next turn. Okay, how fast do I want these satellites? So how much more do I need? Six, seven, thirteen. Okay. So I can go like four, 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 five, something like that. Ok, 
Okay. Alright. I can build this thing. Probably fine. Ooh. We lose some science production. How much? One, we lose one science production. But I would get... Two energy production. No, that's the wrong building. Okay. I need loads of energy and titanium. So to win... 4, 6, 7, 13, 19, 22, right? So I'm going to need 88 power total. That's actually not too bad. Okay, I got the robot hub ready. No, we're going to need way more. We're also going to need, like, population buildings. Hmm... Some power would be nice. If I put Robot Hub here to grab the power here from the photovoltaic field, that would mean that I'm not gonna have a building for my city here. Which actually doesn't matter. I don't wanna mine here. I just want to place down this thing. So that's fine. So I could actually do that. Okay, let's see, where's my silicates mine, it's there, 10 silicates, and then I can grab, wait, I've, <laughs> I've built it in the wrong city, I need to build it here. Okay. And then I do this. And I place the photovoltaic field for two more power. We got plus 16 now. So yeah, I'll probably not have to import any more power. And all that power just might be worthwhile to build this thing. To get to the third stage faster. What's the third stage? 180? So it's plus 12 in 10 turns, 15 turns. Actually, no, we, we reach the final stage relatively fine. I don't think I need this funnily enough. Okay. It's gonna come in a bit later, but it shouldn't make a difference, I think. Anything else I wanna build? Uh, not that I can. Okay. I think this will save me. Also, I have a lot of explorers now, so... I also get lots of income from these. Also, I have lots of to sell, so I should be fine, I think. All right. Rising expectations five. Prepare your <laughs> as marsh infrastructure expands and cities grow, people expect the quality of life to follow the same path. Right. So we are now at minus one hundred twenty-four. And it's year forty-six. So the next one is already getting ready. <laughs> Plus twelve percent. Yeah. I should be at rising expectations six more or less already. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh boy. You still think I'm gonna be fine, cat? Okay, well... I'm gonna make a cut here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. 
in the next one, yeah, things are gonna heat up. I'm getting ever so closer to winning, but I also need to find all these mines and build the buildings. It's still gonna take at least 10 turns, maybe 15. And that's a lot of support I'm gonna need to survive. But we have some plans, we have some plans. Let's take a quick look at the buildings. <laughs> Giant heater. Horses. It's super expensive though, dude. Okay. But anyhow, if you enjoyed the episode, like, subscribe, have a wonderful day, do some nice things, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Terraformers, where we're gonna mine it out some more and hopefully survive. The Neomers signing out. Bye-bye.